With Valentine's Day next week, we wanted to take a few minutes to prepare for how we should show our love. With kisses. <laughs> That's the secret word for this segment. In addition to loving your intimate partner, you should also show love for your friends and family. Which we're going to learn here. That's an American thing. Our etiquette expert Sharon Schweitzer is back to give us some tips on pampering that special someone. Good morning. Good morning. Happy early Valentine's Day. Thank you, Carly. Happy early Valentine's to you and Jerome. Yeah. Now, you were saying that we do it, uh, we do Valentine's much differently than the rest of the world. And I didn't know that. Yeah. Expl talk about that. We do. In U.S. culture, we're very inclusive. We do Valentine's for children. Mm -hmm. We do it in classrooms. We do it among friends, significant others, spouses. We even have bromances. <laughs> but in That's Europe, it's, it's not like that in Europe. No, it's not. What, what do they do? Well, in Europe, it's very different. For example, in the Czech Republic, they did not celebrate Valentine's until after the Velvet Revolution in 1989 because they were more concerned with other things. In Italy, they have little kisses, little bocce. Little, and bocce means kiss in Italy, so they give each other little chocolates but it's only between lovers spouses significant others children do not celebrate Valentine's oh. in Italy and the right the same in, in Germany and in France it's an adult holiday well I, I love that we are kind of celebrating love no matter where you're getting it from I mean it, it is a cool thing that we do here even though we were talking about it's um, you know the cards and the candy can be a little much well, it's wonderful because I think it's a great way to spread love, joy, yes. and happiness. And there's so many creative ways we can do it in the U.S. It's part of our U.S. culture to celebrate Valentine's. I say we own it. Let's do it. So how Let's. should we be celebrating love with uh, no matter who you're with? Well, I think what we can do now is this year, especially with Valentine's falling in the middle of the week, we need to be creative and plan ahead. Well, you should do that all the time, but especially this year. Isn't he great? Yeah, Jerome, I know. You are so right. Well, listen, I've, I've made some big mistakes on Valentine's Day. <laughs> we'll get into that maybe at a different time. But no, you can't really plan too far ahead uh, on Valentine's Day. So uh, we were talking off the air about how it's, with all due respect to the great restaurants here in the Bay Area, it can be a little challenging to go out to dinner on Valentine's night, especially if you don't have reservations. There are very few places you can just stroll into. So you have some alternatives for us. Yes, I do. What you can do is get some nice wine. So you could go out and get some wine, maybe something that your spouse really likes. What do or you have the wine in? What is this exactly? Is this an ostrich leg? What is <laughs> well, that? yes, it's, it's a furry friend. Oh, <laughs> it's a furry okay. friend. You could put, you know, get, get something that you think will be entertaining in a conversation piece for your dinner. You could stay home. You could do some carry out. You could go to your favorite restaurant. Many times your favorite restaurant will do a carry out. They love to do that, but order in advance. Sure. Order in advance. The other thing people like to do is do something on the 13th. Or the weekend before. Mm -hmm. Well, that's where we say maybe stay in that night yeah. and then go out to dinner maybe another night. But I think, you know, especially with ladies saying, oh, I don't care about Valentine's Day. What I, don't listen oh, to that's, that. Oh, that, that, that is the biggest lie in the world. Every woman loves Valentine's Day. And but every I think, I don't, wouldn't you agree, though, I think as long as women thought or some effort yeah. put into something. That's right. You can go and get a bag with uh, some nice little hearts on it mm -hmm. and put some tissue paper in it. You can go get fresh flowers. Um, you know, women love jewelry. And mm -hmm. there's some pretty little bags over there by you, Carly. You can put some nice jewelry in it. There's wonderful jewelry you can mm -hmm. buy. Women always love jewelry. And if you're going to be traveling on business like so many people do, mm -hmm. then get a card. Put a little something in a bag and hide it. Put it somewhere in the house and leave a little note that says, I know I'm out of town, I'm thinking about you, I love you and I want you to have this. Well, maybe like a, a Valentine's uh, treasure hunt. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's and fabulous. And just leave clues around the house. <laughs> yes, that's wonderful. And text wonderful. messages don't count. We need a little bit more effort than just a text message what about that says, Happy Valentine's Day. What about a fax? Would that, would that be no. better? Because you well, got at least the that paper. Would be, that would actually be putting some effort into if you <laughs> right. could find a fax Who sends somewhere. a fax? Anymore, I right? know, right? That what about count. Skype or you know FaceTime? Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, I guess so. You could That's Snapchat better than a text message because then you can actually see the person. I like it. That's right. Those are all great ideas. You know, pull out some of the special. You know, this is special mm. uh, China from the Czech Republic. We love that. You know, if I'm going to do something for yeah. my family, I'm going to pull out my favorite things. Well, again, Sharon, happy early Valentine's Day. Thank you for being here. Hope you get lots keep of some of notes, Jerome. Kisses. There we <laughs> <Yes>. are. <laughs> Got to do this on Valentine's know, right? with your spouse. Write it all down. All right, and if you